the biggest engineering challenge is to have all these different disciplines, all the different organizations and parties to work together. It's all about collaboration. I mean, that's, that's basically a key word. Now we get together to meet. Big contractors is here, Brevik plant is here, and we have the chance each party by themselves to present the thought and the progress going forward. The biggest engineering challenge of the project is to maintain the production. And then just next to it, you are building a whole new process line. It's not just a new filter or something, this is a whole new plant. In the cement industry, we're working with 1,000 degrees centigrade or some materials with a 1,400 degrees centigrade. Now we have to work with, with liquid carbon dioxide, which is minus 26 degrees. This is not something which, which is being done in that many places around the world. It's always very fun when the construction begins. When the summer comes, we will be installing uh, the waste heat recovery units. Argo carbon capture will come on site more or less for the first time. One has to be creative uh, in this project, at least to some extent, due to the limitations on site. I mean, we have quite a few parameters where these structures have to be intact or we cannot move them or it will be too costly. So we have to adapt. Some of the parts is more or close to 100 years old. Using laser, uh, you are able to map in 3D uh, point clouds of the existing surrounding structures. And you can basically end up with a 3D model you can use as a basis to verify that you are not clashing with the existing remaining structures. During project execution, with uh, multiple experts in multiple companies working together, the challenges is not within one person's mind or one person's field of expertise. It's always in the interfaces between person and disciplines and company, utilizing the best of each other.